So in the fourth quarter, employment growth in the state of Texas was about 1.7%. That's a bit more than the 1.4% rate for the nation as a whole. Looking across the different regions of the state, we do see marked differences, which maybe are not too surprising. Dallas and San Antonio both grew at 4% or higher employment growth in the second half of 2016. Whereas Houston had been negative in the first half and grew at about a 1% rate in the second half of the year, which may not seem like much, but compared to how they were doing in the first half and in 2015, while energy prices were low, is an improvement. So energy prices have recovered somewhat from the recent lows, bringing the state's rig count to a 12-month high. Now, more remarkably, maybe, state well permits, which are often a precursor to actual drilling activity, jumped up from 581 in November to 909 in December. That's the largest gain in that index we've seen in several years. The manufacturing survey for January is telling us that production in the manufacturing survey grew. And in fact, that index has been positive for each of the last seven months. The service sector revenue index was also positive, suggesting that service sector revenue is growing. That's actually been growing for each of the last 86 months, a remarkable trend. Perhaps more importantly, though, for the manufacturing and the service sector, the indicators that we have of company outlook and for general business activity have grown by quite a bit in December and in January, suggesting that companies in either sector are seeing their short-term prospects as being better than they've been in the recent past. So our Texas employment forecast for 2017 currently stands at about 2%. That's a bit stronger than 2016, and if realized, would be the state's strongest employment growth since 2014. The main uncertainties about what will happen with payroll employment growth in 2017 would have to be energy prices. Will they rise, fall, or remain where they are now? Uh, what will happen with the Mexican economy? It's been softening somewhat lately. Will that continue to happen, or will their growth prospects improve? And finally, the value of the dollar, which has been elevated relative to recent norms, and which has had some impact on our state's exporters.